Jack Jarvis stepped onto his boat behind me in Portugal back in December and didn't make landfall again until this afternoon on the Florida coast. <laughs> A celebration 4,500 nautical miles and 111 days in the making. Jack Jarvis greeted family and friends at the Riviera Beach Marina. <laughs> After rowing 14 hours a day across the Atlantic by himself and breaking the world record for longest transatlantic row. I said, well, what's not been done? I said, no one's gone from mainland Europe to mainland North America. And I was like, that right on. All right, let's get amongst it. The weather today forced an early arrival in Stewart before the Coast Guard guided him under the Blue Heron Bridge to a crowd of waving British flags. Come on, Jack. And loved ones like Tessa and Daniel, who traveled all the way from the UK to welcome their friend back to solid ground. What he's achieved, you're only going to see it once in a lifetime, so why not witness it firsthand? They say if anyone could do the impossible, it's Jack. Mentally and physically, I would say he's he's above, a cut above. For the 28-year-old British soldier, the journey wasn't just about athletic achievements or world records. Jack completed the mission to raise money for the brain cancer charity that cared for his grandfather in his final days. I mean, like tough days on my hands, pretty sore, I don't know if you can see them, um, you know, and I'll be like, but then I'll think about my granddad and I'll be like, if he can battle a brain tumor, I can get back out there and do another 14 hours. A not so quick trip across the pond in a boat named in honor of his grandfather. If anyone wants to know something, just fly. Don't row across the Atlantic. It's so much easier. <laughs> So how do you cap off a world record? It's easy. An American cheeseburger, french fries, and a chocolate milkshake. Reporting in Riviera Beach, Taylor Hernandez, WPBF 25 News.